Hello guys, it is Dio Silver and welcome back to another episode of Recurring Famous YouTube Building. Today is the last part of how to build Stampy's Clock Tower. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Before we actually get started on this part, I just quickly wanna uh, yeah fix one thing I forgot last episode, which is yeah placing all these ladders over here. I forgot yeah I forgot the inside of this uh, staircase. So yeah, there we go. All the ladders are uh, yeah placed, but one little thing: if we get ourselves a few stone bricks. Um, yeah, make sure you change this over here into stone bricks. So there we go. Okay, so yeah, let's get started on the actual tutorial. What we'll be needing are some uh, stone brick stairs, some normal stone, there we go, some smooth stone. Uh, yeah, some torches, some yellow wool, some stone slabs, uh, and a door. And I actually think we don't need anything else this time. <coughs> oh, by the way, one little piece of glowstone. And I think we can do it with only these blocks, but I'm not very sure. Yeah, uh, now I'm actually not, I am pretty sure, but... Yeah, okay, so I think we are just going to get it all done with only these blocks. So, what we are going to do is get some stone. And place them on each corner. And we are basically going to do the exact same thing like we did over here. As you can see, with these, uh, these stairs. But then instead of two rows, we are going to do it five rows. <laughs> so let me get all the way back to the top. I'll show you over here as well. As you can see, this is the same thing as over there downstairs to them five rows. Over here you can see one, two, three, four, five rows. Yeah, so that's what we're going to make right now. And yeah, it might look a bit difficult, but it's, it's actually like the, the most easy thing ever. So let's just get started with one row. And then the second row, the third and fourth and fifth one will speak for itself. So what we'll do is we have stone, then stairs, then stone, stairs and stuff yeah and this is how it uh, goes all the way around so yeah it's smart to uh, start off with placing off the stone first i mean the stairs or stone and then the other block instead of switching between them the whole time because it takes a bit more time and goes slower as well so there we go those are the stairs not the stone There we go. Uh, then we go, uh, yeah, one layer higher. So place, yeah, place some stone over here like this. There we go. And now we do the exact same thing once again. So um, yeah, this is a bit more difficult. Now we actually need to switch the whole time. You can also, if you uh, find it go too slow, you can also like do this first, like this not too necessary but yeah that's first and then place like all of your stone over here like that i actually think that's uh, that's easier so let's just do that first all the stone over here there we go and then the stairs oh, oh. There we go. Now we do it one more time, and uh, the other two times so we'll just, uh, yeah, you can do it for yourself because it's just the same thing going, uh, yeah, up and in. So I will just speed that part up and see you in the end. So first, one more time. side only so that you can do it for the other side so I think that's smart. So there we go and then we go in again. Yes. Place the stairs. So then we go in one more time. Yes. 
there we go. Now this, uh, yeah, we're going to do it for each side, although I'm almost done already. So I'm going to speed this up and I'll see you guys in a second. And there we go, as you can see this is now done, which is awesome of course. Uh, it's pretty smart to extend this uh, this hallway as well, five times, because uh, this is five, uh, yeah, five high as well. So second row, third row, fourth row, and this is the fifth row. There we go. Uh, then what we do is we get ourselves some yellow wool, place the oh, wool, place it in each corner. That and extend it three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, one, two, three. Like that. And then we, uh, yeah, fill this up with some stone bricks. So that you get like, uh, yeah, some some walls. And we also once again extend this three times. There we go. Uh, then we place, uh, yeah, a lot of stone slabs on top of these. There we go. Then another, um, yeah, we basically do this this whole same thing the whole time, but then we go in. Uh, the whole I want yeah, from there. So this is three as well, <coughs> of course. This as well. This, that's. Then we do the walls again. Yeah, that's how it uh, goes the whole time. Only difference is that it's, yeah, as you can see, becoming smaller each time. There we go in once again. Three yellow blocks. Three yellow blocks. Yellow blocks. Once again we fill it up with some stones. We're almost there already as you can see at the top. It took a very long time but we're almost there. And then we completed building the biggest building by Stanley. Okay, then once again some stone slabs. go and then once again some yellow wool three blocks high now I quickly need to check where the front is I believe it's over here yes okay so at the front what to do is you place one uh, yellow block with a door 
there. And then the other side we just filled up with some walls again. Like that. Then we place some stone slabs once again on top of it. Like that. Then we go three blocks of yellow wool and one of glowstone. And this is actually the perfect time because as you can see we now finished this part. Uh, and it's now becoming night which means it's time for all the torches. Because there are pretty many. Uh, what we do is we place them in each corner over here. Oh, oops. So if you, as you can see, there's all of these yellow, uh, yeah, these yellow walls, these yellow poles, yeah, and the yellow, uh, yeah, the yellow part is where the torches have to be. Not anywhere else, only on the yellow, uh, yellow corners. So there we go. <coughs> like that. Okay, then for this uh, over here, you go to the middle, to the fourth and second row. This is the fourth one, this is the second one. And place your torches up there. Then for the corners, we do it on the first, third and fifth row. Then once again for the second and fourth one. First, third and fifth one. Second, fourth one. Third, fourth one. Third, fourth one. fifth part. Okay, there we go. That's it for all the, yeah, the torches. Now there's a little bit of work to do, and then we're done. So if we go here, you, go, oh, so you can see that it's almost done already. Just light it up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, all we basically just need to do is, yeah, if it's right, you didn't extend it um, all the way to the top again. I mean, yes. So what we do is we get rid of that block. We extend it a little bit so that you can place a torch over there, as you can see. Then we just make it continue. We should get inside. Get easier. And turn it all the way at the top. There we go. So as you can see there's now this torch over here which makes uh, a little bit more light. This is the top. Whoa, it looks epic. Nice. There we go. And of course all we need to do is bo oops, place some ladders. And then we're done with the clock tower. Uh, pick. All right, and there we go. So that's it, guys. Stampy's clock tower completely finished. Damn, that took a long time. <laughs> and now I've got two clock towers. How amazing is that? Uh, pick. Oh, I'm so tired of this <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> it was so long, but yeah, I'm pr yeah very proud that uh, that we finished it, of course. So uh, yeah, if you did like this, uh, this this tutorial, make sure to give it a like, of course. Also, subscribe to my channel to be the first one to see the next tutorial coming. And also make sure to comment, of course, if you want to see a new building so that I can check it out and maybe ma make it, of course. And yeah, I will see you guys in another tutorial. Later.